The Mongols have invaded Persia and they are here in force and the Golden Horde is ready to raid, plunder and destroy all in its path. Well, what's up guys and welcome back. We're here with another 12-12 AD land battle for you today and this is a glorious, well 1v1 but it's on large armies but we have a glorious standoff here between the Golden Horde and the Khwarezmian Empire. Um, yeah, this is a pretty fun one. I thought, you know what, we haven't seen really many, like, Mongol uh, action recently on 1212, uh, and I thought, you know what, let's show them off again. And we've got some pretty interesting uh, Mongol forces here today. I mean, we've got elephants on the Khwarezmian side, we've got, like, hundreds of heavy cavalry here from the Mongols, so it's going to be a pretty epic battle. I mean, this is a large battle as well, we've got 3,000... Uh, men on both sides. Obviously not one of the largest we've ever seen, but it should be certainly a fun one to check out as well. And it seems like we've got all sorts of tiers of infantry, so it doesn't seem like it's set to a certain tier. We've got Russians as well. We've got the Drazina coming from Russia here today. They're coming to cause havoc. And uh, yeah, we've got like Turkic archers. We've got all sorts of Mongol uh, spears as well. So yeah, a pretty multicultural army here facing the Krasmarine Empire. Who are ready in force. And it seems like the Mongols actually haven't brought any horse archers. Well, what they're famed for, and they've decided not to bring a single one, is actually the Krasmarine Empire uh, has the only horse archers today. This is kind of bizarre, to be fair. But um, I guess maybe the Krasmarine Empire was thinking that they were going to bring some. But yes, if you're enjoying seeing Medieval 1212 uh, on the uh, on the channel, then do remember to leave a like, subscribe when you're around here, and a comment to show your support. As always, it's very much appreciated. And uh, yeah, if you want to like join the Discord to get involved in some 12-12 action as well, then do join the links down below in the description as always. But yeah, so this should be a really, really fun one. I'm looking forward to it. I mean, it seems like we're going to see some huge, some huge cavalry fights. And certainly on this flank, you can see over here, we have uh, a lot of shock cavalry coming up here. I mean, they are outnumbered. And the uh, Mongol cavalry is really, really good. They really need to set up their pole arms to support in this fight. Because that is the only way they're going to really win this fight. But here we go. Looks like we're about to see a charge here. And the Mongols and the uh, Khwarezmian Empire already blobbing up here. The Khwarezmian Empire really going into one unit here. This is kind of a bit of a mistake. They kind of want to be, you know, fighting as many units as possible. But as you can see, all, uh, the Mongols come in right round. And because all the, the cavalry here is uh, tied down, they are going to be okay. I mean, you can see this unit here of Noka. Heavy Lance is going to go right into the back of the uh, Krasmarine Empire's cav, causing some damage. And that's kind of seeing the fate of that cavalry there. It's all pinned down there. This cavalry unit, I mean, could go for anything it really wants. It's got no heavy archers, uh, lances over here, sorry. They're taking on these horse archers and all the infantry behind them. The spears should help even this fight out a little bit. But even still, it's a risk. And over on this side, you can see that the uh, Noka heavy lances as well have caught the horse archers. Why they weren't on skirmish mode, I don't know. But they're going to be able to uh, be able to do some more damage if they want to. There's another shot cab here that I mean, I'll play defense with this unit now. You don't, you can't afford to send this into what a one v five. They cannot win that fight. Pole arms coming up right now as well to support that carry fight on the far side. But it looks like we may be about to see the infantry clash. Drazina here going in against all sorts of spears, which I'm not even going to try and pronounce these guys. But uh, well, yeah, I'm just not going to try and pronounce these uh, units. But here we go, infantry clash about to take place and the Mongols and the Khwarezmian Empire fight gets really and truly underway yeah look at that huge battle line now taking place in they all go I mean that is epic I mean these Jazina are going to do a lot of work I'm sure Archers coming in and actually helping to clear up these Nanoka heavy lances here Spoil that fight. The cab fight over here as well, kind of getting a little bit out of control. Mongols really should have fallen back over their cab or like retreated some before this trap's really been able to be uh, to be created by the Khwarezmian Empire. They got these really elite pole arms here. I mean, look at their look at their pole arms. They got like huge axes on them, and they're going in and they're going to probably just kill these uh, Mongols. I mean, the pole arms going to do a really good job in there, I'm sure. We also have Mongol infantry here. That uh, Tesserig siege infantry. They're trying to stop some of the uh, some of the pole arms from engaging the cavalry. What are you doing? It's gone berserk. Oh, of course, elephants. The elephants have been sent in. These guys already go in a berserk. Yeah, these guys are going to cause all sorts of damage to both friend and foe, you imagine. And they are kind of going through the Mongol lines now. These poor Drazina.
Look at that poor bastard there dying in the middle of the front lines. Yeah, I mean, lots of lances and over here now breaking for the Quasmarine Empire. I mean, the, the Mongol ones want to start getting out of there soon because you can see they're just falling onto the pole arms, getting themselves killed here occasionally. You need to be careful. It seems like certainly on this uh, left flank, they're in a real bit of trouble here at the Quasmarine Empire. I mean, their general is engaged. And a lot of Mongol cav here. I mean, also the Mongols are now in behind. Really, they should start starting to hammer an anvil, this infantry line. And there is also a lot of archers over here. These dismounted Sovereign, really good units you want to take out. They're good hybrid units, so that means that they can fight with both a bow and a sword very, very effectively. Spear line here holding. It's holding. I think the elephants are all but dead. It's a real shame. Yeah, they died really quickly. They kind of, like... Ran in, went berserk, got focused down by these archers here. Real shame. But you can see here, they are winning the cab fight. They need to get their cab right out of here now. This is not a fight that they can win. I mean, this is good, though, that they got their siege infantry in behind these pole arms. Got the general third of the Mongols over here. He's uh, still alive. The general has actually broken for the uh, Quasmarine Empire, so that is not a good sign. But we'll go down the line. You see all the uh, all the units doing their best to hold on. The archer fight is just brutal. Where did that extra cav go? It has been hammer and ambling. That is good to see. They have been breaking these Ghazi, which are light infantry. They've broken all the cav here, so now they have even more cav to do hammer and ambles. They have some spears here as well that can flank around. So yeah, I mean, at the moment, the Krasnodar Empire looking really, really rough. They need to get like their elite infantry over here that's doing pretty decent. They need to actually start to get it to uh, influence the fight and flank around lives. itself. But yeah, these dismounted Sovereign as well. I mean, they need to start to like do an absolute job. They, I mean, they can focus down as many of these units as possible, kill the cav, but the infantry... It's already starting to break here. You've got these like medium spears breaking. It's not a good sign. Breaking in amongst the elephant carcasses. Got the Mongols here as well. They're just cutting down everyone. For Ascari going into combat, I mean, that's a not a bad idea, but I mean, these dudes are all starting to break. Look at this. This man's Saber and Foot Ascari all breaking. This is all the elite hybrid infantry. She's got charged. I mean, that's a good way to kill them. It's just charging with cavalry. But as you can see, it's not looking good for the Quasmarine Empire. Balance Pirate is shifting really quickly in the, out of their favor. They have actually got half the troops that the uh, Mongols have. The Mongols have only lost 900 men. Got the general that's just charged in here, though, into the side of these pole arms. Not a bad charge, but he needs to be careful and retreat from that because uh, pole arms obviously are very good way as well to kill cav. Yeah, lots of these pole arms starting to break. I mean, this one's winning. This one is losing and it probably will start to break. All it needs is probably one good cavalry charge and it will be okay. Cavalry here as well. I mean, you can see these medium melee infantry, they're going to break the cav yet. And once that's broken, the cav can just go into the back lines here and just do even more damage. Zine have been fighting on hard. As they should. You know what? All the Mongol general, he's nearly broken. You need to be careful. The Mongols don't want to just go and throw it all away. They are like massively got the advantage now, but I mean, they it could all still go wrong. I don't know what the Mongol morale's like, but uh, yeah, he has just about managed to survive that. I'm so surprised that the Mongols didn't bring any horse archers, though. It has paid off for them, but I mean, 
these ho the horse archers have been great for things like pole arm units, they can help them. Let's see here, look at this, these spears are winning. Now they're getting rear charged by Drazina. And that's changing all so quickly. These Drazina are just too elite. And there you go, they're breaking units. Also doesn't help that the general's been killed. It's taking their time actually to break these, these pole arms, they just refuse to break. That's what's holding them back. They've broken the cav here, no heavy lances. Mongols weren't too great at protecting their, uh, or using their cavalry, I wouldn't have said. They kind of were a bit sacrificial with it a little bit. Certainly going after pole arms and, uh, like, and certainly other cav as well. Like, they threw, like, three cav units in against, like, when, it, when they didn't need to, basically. Spears here, I mean, yeah, just killing them off. And there you go. That's kind of just a chain route of the infantry. I don't know what's really left. It's just these pole arms here. They are what's holding on. I am, don't see them holding for this long. There you go. Final pole arm is breaking there. And what else is left? There's a unit over here of more pole arms. Yeah, these pole arms are like the only elites that are going to survive. They're getting focused down currently by archers. But yeah, there, there is the battle. It's a really quick one today. Um, I did have an NTW3 battle plan for you guys as well. Um, but that is... Uh, been withheld because just issues with the video the so uh we've just got some 12 12 and said today it's a glorious little battle good to have the mongols here and they're gonna conquer go on and conquer persia it would seem and uh add it to their huge empire as you can see here yeah, breaking these boys very very quickly i mean instead of having horse archers they just brought like a million turkic archers and said there you go enemy general is dead so how does he manage to get himself killed oh, is he fighting uh, pole arms? He was. Did he charge pole arms and get himself killed? Wow. Um, but there you go. It doesn't matter because the Mongols have already won the decisive defeat for the uh, for the Khwarezmian Empire. And we'll end the replay and have a quick look at the same results. It certainly wasn't one of the closest in the world, um, but it was a fun one to watch. You can see. Look at that. The Mongols have so many health units left. Um, but yeah, the Khwarezmian Empire did get kind of absolutely schooled. But it shows the power of the Mongols. Really, it does. Uh, I certainly think things like elephants and stuff could have been a lot more protected. Uh, and cavalry as well definitely could have been a bit more effectively used. But uh, yeah, I mean, uh, all around an okay battle. I mean, 104, 108 kills for these, uh, like, polyons is probably the best they've got. They've got 74 for, like, some Yaya's up here. Um, Cav, yeah, getting all pinned down, really, so they didn't get many kills. Um, so yeah, nothing too insane for the Krasmarine Empire. But then you've got, like, 100 kills for the General here. Um, these Spears, I mean, getting, like, 70 kills is pretty good. Siege infantry getting like 50 kills, 189 for the Drazinas, probably the best one of the bunch there. Turkey Arch is getting 81 uh, kills, 200 kills for the Noka Heavy Lancers, 277 down here. Wow, some really good kills. Um, but yeah, that is the battle. So thank you to Sirius the Great for sending this one in, and well done to CL Fiscus for his victory. Um, well deserved. But yes, if you enjoyed this, ba uh, this battle, do remember to leave a like, subscribe if you're around here, and a comment to show your support. And I will see you in the next one. Bye for now.